Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial for the game Planet Zoo. So um, first things first, looking at the basic controls, to tilt the camera, hold middle uh, mouse click and while holding middle mouse click you can also rotate the camera at will. To go down, press Q on the keyboard, to go up, press E. So that should give you the basics and then W, A, S and D to move around. So that's navigation for you. now. Obviously, this game, the purpose of it is to make a zoo, but you have to make sure that all your animals are as happy as possible. What I would really recommend is to go through the uh, career mode, do the first few levels at least, because then you'll get a really good understanding of how to set everything up. Um, and also as well, that will help you when you want to make a franchise zoo. The franchise zoo is essentially your own zoo um, that you want to make and it will teach you everything you need to know about the staff areas, uh, about the different staff you can hire, what they need to do, but most importantly we have to put emphasis on the animals. So I've paused the game, you can pause the game at the bottom right of the screen here and you can even speed it up if you want to speed up, but I've paused for the sake of it. With each animal you can click on them to look at their welfare. So I can see this animal is 100% happy in every way. Let's actually try and find one which is not happy. So what you can do is you can click here at the bottom left on zoo. You can click this tab animals and then you can see their welfare. So let's order it by the ones who are the least happy. So my least happy animal is this Indian peafowl. If I want to go straight to him, I can click this button here and it will take me straight to that peafowl. Okay. So I need to see, you know, why is he so upset? What's going on? So nutrition, okay? So animal is starving. He requires a keeper. Ooh, uh-oh. So um, last meal quality was moderate. Okay, so I would have to look through this habitat that he's in to make sure that there's enough heating. But um, we will, let's take a look. So... Um, you have the different tabs as well when you select an animal which gives you more information about the specific type of welfare issues they have so for example in this game you have nutrition so food and water and stuff like that some animals require a swimming hole like the tigers and so on um, and then you also have the social aspect the social aspect for example can be is there enough animals for them to share the environment with Maybe there isn't enough. So um, if there's two, if maybe there's not enough space, you know, there's, it does break it down for you, and it will highlight to you if any of these are a problem. The habitat, it will tell you about the issue of the actual uh, pin that they're being kept in. Is it clean enough? Is it big enough? Does it have the right type of plants? Because if you have filled it with plants that just the animals are just not used to or they don't provide any cover or you know they're just not happy with it then they'll have issue with the plants available in the environment so what I can do here you can click here on the environment tab you can see here that um, generally they're okay with the plants but uh, they, there is too much coverage so and it says here that the ideal plant for them is plants that originate from Asia. So what you can do is you can click on here, habitat. Okay, and let's say you want to filter to see what is useful for the p-file. You can click this filter, you go to here species, and we can select um, Indian p-file. Okay, so it will select and filter for you things which are useful for this specific animal. So be sure to use the filter because there is a lot of options available and you might get lost <laughs> essentially with all of the issues that they have. So first things first, I'm gonna look at the issue of nourishment. Okay, so let's look at the food and water. Let's make sure that they have enough food bowls. Okay, and one thing that they will say as well, because we did add like a couple more um, P files do this as part of the tutorial. So I just want to make sure that we have enough places for the keepers to come and place food. The keepers will automatically come and place food and clean the mess and stuff like that as time goes on. So placing them is okay. 
wherever. Now, what you just have to make sure is, is that when you place things like feeding locations or drinking locations, ideally you want to put it in a place where the guests can actually see it, um, see the animal, because the more they see, the more happier they are, the more they will donate to the donation bins. And that, that is a way to make money in this game. And essentially what you really want to do to have a successful zoo is one, your number one priority has to be the animals. Then your number two priority has to be the guests. So make sure the animals are happy. Make sure the animals are safe, that they are taken care, taken care of in every way possible. And the happier they are, the easier it will be for the guests because simply... As with uh, Jurassic World Evolution, the less stressed they are, the less likely they are to try and fight and escape and cause trouble and stuff like that. Now, there is a tutorial mode in the second career mode, which essentially just tells you how to deal with animals which have escaped and how to get them back. Now, um, also as well, you should keep an eye on this tab here, the animal alerts. So this can tell me right away that these animals have low welfare that these animals are hungry and so on so don't ignore this make sure that like i said number one the animals are your priority because this planet zoo is not planet guest <laughs> so um you really want to make sure that they are taken care with 100 percent. and also as well when you're building a habitat you need to make sure that the guests can actually see them so um, if for example like you have a habitat, I think I've got one, which is just bricked off. Um, I think it was my lion enclosure. But let me let me see if I can find it. Uh, and essentially, like the guests cannot see them. Then essentially, what's the point? So you need to make sure that the guests can see them. That's why you have the glass barriers and so on. But initially, you might just have to. Uh, make make do without it. So, for example, let, let me let me explain this one. Okay, this is for the ostriches. I put all of their enrichment, all their food, right next to the viewing gallery. The guests can see them and they can donate. Okay, now uh, very very close to it, we have here the lion enclosure, which I just just built. But um, b because I just built it, I haven't actually made a viewing gallery yet. So, and also as well, certain animals, you, the wall needs to be a certain height. So, for example, they were, they suggested for the tigers that the wall be minimum 3.7 meters high. Otherwise, they will try and escape. Essentially, they could, they could just simply jump over it. And the last thing you want is tigers running around your zoo and potentially attacking people. So, now, what I can, you can do, let's say, for example, I want to replace this section of the wall with... Um, glass okay so that the guests can see them we can say here glass see so I double clicked it to select that point I clicked on glass and it replaced it for me to change the height you click this and you can drag it higher lower and so on but we'll keep it the same height as the rest so that's what that icon means these icons here are to select the barrier so let's say for example I want to select more and more and more. I can hold left click and I can select the entire barrow. In, in theory, I could also I could make it that um, all of the barrier is glass, but obviously I'm, I'm not going to do that. Some animals do require privacy. They do need a, some some case some place they can hide so that they can um, get away from the guests because they also get stressed out. You know, they are living beings just like humans, so. Some animals do need privacy. They, they need to feel that there is a place for them to escape. So one good option, uh, which is explained in the, the tutorial mode, is that when the animals are resting in their habitat or in their cave or in, in their, their secret place, let's say, um, you might want the guests to be able to see them. But the way that they can maintain their privacy is by using one-way glass. So for example, I found it here. This snow leopard, he likes his privacy. So when he wants his privacy, he goes into this cave. This cave, you can see there's glass so people can watch him resting. But um, it would stress him out if he's trying to rest and everyone's glaring at him. But this glass here is actually 
uh, one way. It's one way glasses. You can see here, one way glass. It's a bit more expensive than normal glass, but um, it's worth it for the animal's privacy so they don't get stressed out. Now, there is other more advanced things for the game, which I might cover in a different video. Like, you can put up these signs to give information about the animals. Um, there's also the different facilities you can make. You know, here's information. You can make restaurants. There's toilets. There's um, everything you need to do. But I'll, I will make in the future a future franchise video. So, but that's basically it, guys. Number one. Take care of the needs of the animals. Number two, take care of the needs of the guests. Make sure as well that when you're placing the facilities for the vets, for the um, zookeepers, for all the staff, that they're not too far away from the animal enclosures so that they don't have to travel a million miles to... Like, let's say, for example, he wants food. You don't want the zookeeper to be at the other end of the zoo and take like an hour to get here. And what you can also do to help yourself is you can place zoo huts um, next to sort of um, habitats which are far away from everything. Just so that food can be stored closer to it. Just so the food doesn't have to be carried across the whole zoo. And the main thing of this is, is just, just go have fun. You know, if, especially if you start in franchise mode. Go have fun. You could lose many, many hours to this. There's some really good videos on YouTube already um, with people sh have really good ideas of how to make their zoos. Uh, I would really recommend some. Some people spend dozens of hours, maybe and potentially hundreds of hours to design one zoo. So make sure to check them out and so on. But that's my basic tutorial for the game Planet Zoo. I am intending to... Uh, play it a huge amount and um, the last thing would be is you have here at the bottom left the different uh, maps like you have in Jurassic World Evolution so you can see here animal welfare any issues um, habitats you can look at the temperature uh, is the temperature appropriate for the animals do they have water do they have power if they don't have power make sure to add transformers so they have maximum coverage and so on so but, like I said, if you do the in-game career mode, there's a very good in-game tutorial that takes you through one step at a time. So, but I just wanted to help you get a legs up and in the game, just so you get the most out of it. I would highly recommend this game. It's very fun. I played the beta. I had a lot of fun with it. And um, I am looking forward to my adventures in the future. So anyway, guys, if you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.